I'm in Cook City near Goose Lake at about 10,000 feet on a southeast facing slope. And on this slope, we have a couple inch thick surface melt freeze crust and water has actually run all the way down. You can see this little ice melt channel here down a couple feet down to the snowpack and then refrozen. So the top couple feet of the snowpack on this slope are locked up pretty tight now. There are plenty of other slopes that either have thinner crust or no crust at all where we haven't had that meltwater percolating in and they haven't gotten locked up yet. And also, the meltwater is only run uh, about two feet down and we're standing on seven feet of snow. So the lower snowpack, if we get a big load of snow or once it heats up even more and we get water running all the way down there, we could still in the future see big avalanches at the bottom of the snowpack. But for now, we're most worried about the top couple inches of snowpack as these crusts make, uh, break down wet loose avalanches or on slopes when they see the sun for the first time.